Good morning, people of the grid. It is Sunday, November the 27th. I went to Tim Hortons to get breakfast for everybody. They're gonna head off to Calgary. I'm going to meetings. All right, so everybody is set up with breakfast. We got Ethan, ready to go, Ethan? Yep. Amelia, how's your breakfast? Sounds good. Is it? Sammy Pepper? Mm-hmm. Girl on fire, how's your breakfast? Good. The mom? Did you get enough good sleep, sleep baby? Okay. Did you? I'm always worried about sleeping and then I have somewhere I have to be, so. And we, baby Lisa. I'm here until probably one o'clock and then I've got to jet back to the city for a, a three o'clock. Please drive carefully, baby. I will. Love you guys. I'm going to my meetings. Have a good me have a good day, curling. Do good. Sammy Pepper. Help mom carry the stuff down. Alright guys, love you. Love you too. We baby Lisa. Yeah. Who's bagel? Mwah. Love you. Bye everybody. Bye, Bye so good meetings too. See you at Thanks. home. See you at home. Yep. So we're all in the car and we're on our way home for curling. Um, according to the nav, it says it's going to take us an hour and 39 minutes. We get there at 9.51. I was hoping to be there a little bit earlier, but we're there before 10, which is when it starts, as long as we don't hit anything. Uh, um, one thing that might impede us a bit is the fog. Check it out. So it's pretty foggy. The one nice thing is the roads are pretty empty this time of day. So, Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just noticed that uh, we're at 62% leaving a city with a supercharger. That's crazy. My husband must have drove this car like he stole it this morning. Because, uh, yeah, I thought we had a little more energy than that. We'll make it with plenty, but then we have to get home. But uh, it's always nice to be fully charged when, uh, especially when we leave a city with a supercharger, it wouldn't have taken very long, but oh well, we're on a tight schedule today. So as you can see, we're gonna get to the curling uh, rink and Indus at about 8%. We'll have about 50, 60 kilometers remaining. That'll give us enough to get home. And our consumption's pretty steady at about 278. It's a little cooler today. It's minus 10, minus 9. All right, so apparently the car thinks we're cutting it close. Uh, we recommend charging now. I'll charge when I get home. So yeah, that's good. So we just made it to curling. It took us a little, we have 7% left in our battery. And yeah, you'll see that here. Um, we have 30 kilometers remaining to get home. That'll be lots. Maybe we'll uh, we'll show you how to squeeze out as much of our battery on the way home as uh, as we can. Okay, guys, get your stuff. It's in the back. Dad. Hey, what did you call Dad? Said he was a turkey. <laughs> everybody so by now you've probably heard of uh, Tammy's little situation number one probably driving faster than uh, she should have number two running at thermonuclear temperatures inside the vehicle number three not using range mode number four not plugging in as soon as she got to destination as as I had suggested might be a good idea Anyhow, I'm going to the supercharger here in uh, Red Deer, so I'm going to top up. That's it. It's it's also colder today, so um, we came up and it was it was like zero degrees Celsius. Today out here, it's minus four, and it sounds like it gets a little cooler. Yeah, she's a noob. What can I tell you? <laughs> she's going to beat me, people of the grid. She's going to see this, and then she's going to come get me. There's a little bit of snow on this trail that I'm on, on the boosted board, and uh, for the most part it's just a little snow covered. Board's doing fine, but there's a couple of icy patches which uh, I'm watching out for. <laughs> just taking a short ride. 
Oh. All right, I made it back to the vehicle. I am uh, I'm ready to go. I just went for a quick boosted board ride. It is slippery out there. So yeah, there we go. Here, stop charging. Unlock. So there's the supercharger I used. I plugged in, and look at that. We have a gas vehicle parked in front of a charger. Now, it's not super bad today because there's room. I'm leaving now, but come on, dude. There's tons of parking here. There's people that are like traveling for long distances and if this is all full, they're kind of hooped while uh, whoever that is, um, yeah. I've got my uh, <clears throat> tea, everything is good. I'm uh, using a technique for winter driving I like to call the right way. Um, and it seems to be working. I think I'm going to be just fine. Now, I think we've all seen what happens when you don't use this special technique that I call the right way. Uh, you know, the one that Tammy used, uh, sometimes commonly referred to as the wrong way. Um, so winter driving tips. Tip number one, um, charge the car. That's a good, that's a good one. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Number two, when you're taking on a long trip and your range looks like it's kind of really close to what the distance is, um, use range mode. And then tip number three, uh, don't, don't run your, um, your heating system on the thermonuclear setting. Thermonuclear will uh, burn your skin. Just run it at a normal room temperature. Range tip number four, if you have multiple segments on the trip and you make it to the one destination, plug in, and then I always say charge a little extra, right? The final uh, final tip, always leave as the car has either just finished charging or is just close to finished charging. That process of charging the car when it's plugged in gets the battery pack warmed up. That's it. Those are my winter driving tips. Hope that helps. Okay guys, so uh, we have to stay here for a few minutes. Yippee. That's on you. I think it was keeping the battery warm too. So while we were watching curling, I should have plugged in, but I thought we had lots. I know we have to stay and watch curling a little longer because we're at 12 kilometers and it's 20 kilometers to home. So and we can't even we're eat. charging here. Well, Dad's charging in a supercharger. Good for him. <laughs> yeah, and we're charging it like this slowest charger in the world. No, we're charging off a, a wall plug. Uh. Which, as my children would say, it's on me. You guys don't look happy to be with mom. Dad said he'd come pick us up. We spent most of our life here. No, come on. Alright, so as you can see, Mike was charging earlier, and uh, so am I. Just at a little different rate. We need 19 kilometers, and we have... 22 kilometers in the battery so it's asking us to charge before we leave but we already did that so we're gonna squeeze it out of the battery we're gonna say a little prayer and we're gonna head home all right so <laughs> I'm using the app to watch what uh, what's going on and I just watched Tammy and the kids get into uh, the Model X into Cora and then leave all the doors open for like five minutes and let all of the warm air out um, while they were, I don't know what they were doing. He's got enough range to make it home and I'm watching on the app, but it's so stressful because I'm watching the range. I switched to battery and I can see the range lowering and then I switch to the map view so that I can see where she's at. It's gonna be so close. So we've turned, so we've turned range mode on. We've made sure all the seats are off and we're gonna drive nice and slow. Going about 68 kilometers an hour. It'll help us get home safely. We were at minus one percent to home and we've got it up to zero. You'll notice that we're running right now at 206 uh, watt hours per kilometer. It's pretty good. Pretty low. It's gonna be fine Mike. This is drama. People love drama. So it says we have 15 kilometers in the battery. And we have 15 kilometers to go. Mom, now Whatever. you're having bad influence. No, we're showing our... people you can get where you need to go by just slowing yeah, down. What if... and the oh, 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 our message just changed. Check this out. Check this out. We are currently doing 65 kilometers an hour, and we are down to 172 watt hours per 100 kilometers. 
That's pretty good. I thought 18 would be better. Look at this. We're going to get home with zero. That's pretty okay. good. Guys? Yeah. Is this exciting? No. Is this fun? Sure, sure that's what this is. This is fun. Yeah, We're, sure. We might die in the car, Mom. We're not going to die. Yeah. And then we'll have to stick with eating roadkill <laughs> until Dad we gets have home. Check this out, people of the grid. We have 1% remaining getting home. I thought you liked it. Another thing to make sure of when uh, when you're low on range is no quick bursts of acceleration. You just got to do nice, slow acceleration. Seven kilometers in the battery, 5.1 kilometers remaining. Oh, we get to go down a hill. Do you guys think we're going to make it? Yes. yes. Two of them over here. People of the grid, we're totally going to make it. It's four-wheel drive. So, people of the grid, it's going to be close. Do you think we made it? Yeah! We made it. I told you we'd make it. I can't. I will so we made it with one percent remaining. As oh, Mom would say, "Wow, that's so Our much." Our consumption in the last the last fifty kilometers was one hundred ninety six, um, but in that last ten kilometers, one thirty seven. See here, we went down that nice hill. Actually, regened a bit, which was awesome. We actually came home with four kilometers left on the battery. Mike, 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 you with little faith. I told you we'd make it. Nobody even had to come pick us up. Now we're going to get out of the car and maybe have hot chocolate because we might be a little cool. Not really. So we have to awesome. Garbage. I did have a little problem, however, when I came home and I went to plug in. I broke my fingernail. Oh, I hate that. Oh, there's a happy sight. And it'll be a little while till she's full. <laughs> so while I don't recommend getting that low, um, there's lots of ways to extend your range. And uh, we actually gained um, range. So the estimate on the car, it thought we, would, uh, we wouldn't make it, but because of all the things we did, we made it. Slowing down, using range mode, in a pinch, taking the heat off, and uh, not plugging in any accessories or running anything like that and having slow accelerations whenever you have to stop and go um, we'll exchange your range quite a, quite a bit made it home gonna go in and get warm I have to plug in the leaf too I realized it's l low as well yeah I'm so surprised so here, here I am in the leaf Mike said to me well if you need to go anywhere you can always use the leaf and in my head I'm thinking um no, I can't. In your head, I really don't know what you're thinking. Because you see, I was in a hurry the other day, and yeah, it needed charge too, so. Electric cars need to be plugged in. All right, both cars plugged in, charging, and now I'm gonna go inside. And wait for the lecture that's probably gonna happen when Mike gets home. Hey, you. Oh, me? Yeah, you. Uh -huh. I see you failed to follow a few of our winter driving recommendations. What do you have to say for yourself, noob? I got home. It's all good. You had me so worried. I was so stressed. <laughs> I would have come and rescued you. That's right. Silly girl. I have a knight in shining armor. All right, people of the grid, I think we're going to wrap it up there. I think we had a really good lesson in what not to do. Thank you, Tammy. That was fantastic. And uh, we had a lot of fun this weekend. Kids did great curling. They didn't win, but they played hard. It is 9 p.m. I'm going to finish this up. It's always harder when there's two cameras with multiple shots, and i got to mix them all up. Anyways, I'm going to get that done, and we're going to call it a night. So hope you had a great weekend. Hope you enjoyed the video. Press the like, share with your friends, and uh, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. See ya, people of the grid. Miker out. <laughs>